Hello my tiny tots and my sweet little children those who are waiting for my next video and I'm very happy to see you again this is Rashmi Sinha and welcome you all on my channel once again and here I'm back with my uh, another lesson for tiny tots and that is very interesting and you can see the heading input and output devices we are going to talk on them as you can see the picture which has drawn already on I'm not so good in drawing but uh, definitely you'll like these drawings which has drawn very easily and I'll explain you one by one. So these uh, I have drawn three three pictures for each like input devices, output devices and storage devices. So we'll start with first topic that is input and output devices what they are exactly. Uh, so for this I would like to show you a few of the input output devices as you can see uh, some keyboards and uh, mouse and microphone everything is drawn in this. So we'll talk first about what is input and output devices as you all know that uh, a human body has some parts like internal parts and external parts. Similarly the computer has also two parts or you may say three parts and these parts are input output and storage these three parts make a computer complete so human body like human body contains many parts similarly computer also contains these part so very first i'm going to show you first input part and input part as you can see the keyboard and what is the function of input devices as you can see some keyboards on my screen these keyboards are of different shapes and sizes and in I'm telling you please note it down and make sure that whatever I am teaching you you are writing along with me that would be very easy for you so we'll talk on first what is input devices and input devices are those who allow computer to accept the data when you give any data or information to computer it is accept acceptable by help of input devices so the first device is a keyboard which is drawn in this on the whiteboard as you can see the keyboard has I have drawn some of the areas of keyboard you can see this is the space bar the longest key of the keyboard hope you have remember this box is alphabet key which has 0 to 26 um, total 26 letters over here this is the special key area where six buttons are given like here on this end button or then delete button and all this down one is the arrow area arrow key buttons where we have four arrows up down left and right and this bigger box is the number box where we have zero to nine means total ten numbers this area the upper one the block you can see this area is for notification where you can get the mute or volume key and something else this box the first the few boxes which you can see on the screen that is your function key buttons and these special ones are the tabs and the caps lock key this is the window button so these are the major key buttons which you can see on keyboard and hope you all have drawn along with me so just move to the next input device hmm the mouse you may have seen the real mouses in your house also so look at the computer mouse so as you can see some mouse which I'm showing you on my screen these are the different shapes and size some are very attractive some are black some are normal one so these mouses we uh, can easily get it from the market but if you want to draw in your copy or if you want a simple one so I'm showing you this mouse this mouse uh, with as you can see this first symbol is for scroll button scroll button helps to scroll it or to move it the page here we have two clicks left click and right click so mouse has two buttons and uh, these mouse is a device which helps us to point something to select something or to move any item on screen of computer not only this it will help you to play games and to make pictures so hope you all have seen interesting mouse so we have now we have reached to the third pictures and that is mic mm. 
If you are very fond of mics for music or for speaking something, you have you must have seen these mics in your maybe in the school campus or sometimes in auditoriums or sometimes in a seminars or in the programs, New Year programs or everywhere you might have seen these interesting mics. If you look my mouse which I have drawn, which is the simple one, and this is this device actually works as input device and its function is to record the voice and to help you to talk through this and as well as if you are on computer you want to talk someone that also help it will help you to calls so now we have to read we are re we are reaching to the second devices which is output devices and output devices first i'll give you one ex one definition of output device that is it is used to display and gives the final output. If you want the answer on screen, the output device will give you the answer by the help of these devices. So very first is the monitor one. If you have gone to the market and you might have seen this interesting, these interesting monitors of different shapes and sizes. These are the LCD ones or you may see some LEDs, LCDs and the normal ones. See the HD one. So you can see the monitor picture over here, which I have also drawn. That is a LCD one. It looks like a TV screen. The major thing about a monitor is it looks like a, a TV screen. Please do not confuse the spelling of monitor. It is not ER, it is OR. And it helps you to get the typed text and the work done by the computer to that displays on computer so if you want all the work which is done by computer that will be you will get by the help of this monitor now move to the next which is the printer you have seen the printer you are taking right now some copy work and all by the help of printer and printer what printer does printer takes the printer helps us to print anything and gives you the hard copy what is that hard copy when once it is in the computer we call it soft copy if anything which is inside the computer it is not hard it is soft copy but if you want them back on screen or out of the computer we call it hard copy so printer helps all the text documents pictures everything which you want to print that help that you will get by the printer so i'm showing you some of the printer which are very very common in the market these are sometimes they are giving the colored wow see the colored images you can get or you can get the black and white images also we have three types of printer in the market that is inkjet dot matrix and the third is laser the laser printer is the best one because that printer gives you the very interesting pictures now we have reached to the last of the output device and that is speaker or you are very fond of music definitely yes now huh. as you uh, can see the speaker on my whiteboard what speaker does it allows us to listen to the music and to hear sound effects stored in a computer whatever sound or music you have in your computer you can see by these speakers see the very very costly and interesting speakers are available in the market see the important this is the interesting one so these are the speakers bluetooth speakers also you can get the music by help of bluetooth as well as by the wire one so this is the main function of speaker which works as a output device so till now we discussed input and output these three three device now i have reached I have reached to the third part or the last part of the chapter means last part of the today's video and that is storage one. So for storage I will take you to the hard disk first as you can see the hard disk because we can't see it generally uh, outside because it is inside the CPU but before that I would like to explain you what are storage devices. Storage devices are those which we can help us to store all the data which we have kept in computer by help of them and the first example which I have drawn that is hard disk and this is inside the computer as you can see the picture there is a CD see in between there is a CD and this is the magnetic clock types which will move on this CD its work is to store the data while running the computer so this is the hard disk main function if you want to see uh, the 
real picture of hard disk how it looks i am showing you just in a second as it because it is normally we cannot see they are not out of computer they are inside of computer so inside of cpu exactly so it is inside of cpu so it is normally we cannot get it out and the image of hard disk is coming just till now we have reached to the cd and dvd as i have drawn a very simple cd cd looks like a very shiny flat thin disk and its full form is com compact disk also its full form is compact disk so cd looks like this and the dvd is the better one because the dvd connect contains six time more data to the cd so it it is a, both are round in shape both are shiny and both can store data like you want to save a movie or you want to save music or you want to save your pictures or videos that can be saved by the cd and dvd now we have reached to the last device which is pen drive a very small very small simple device and the another name of pen drive is flash drive always remember it that other name of pen drive is a flash drive as you can see the tip of the pen drive this one this is the tip of the pen drive which you have to insert to the computer or any device or maybe you can attach to the mobile also and this will provide you this will send all the data from the computer to any other computer as well as or by this you can also carry any data from one place to another place because it is too small to carry and very easily we can use them so this is all for today hope you get my this chapter this chapter is as you can see input and output devices i covered by these very interesting pictures so please do like share and subscribe my channel and must comment down that what do you feel about my videos and if you have any kind of problem or any kind of solutions please mention down so stay safe at your home and take care of your family and yourself too bye bye